Hi and welcome to today's video on Facebook's call to action button. This is something really exciting that Facebook has released as a new part of their feature and you will notice that they have added this extra button on your cover image photo next to where the follow and like button is. What we're going to do, we're going to click on that button and you can see here that you can choose a button that suits you. So maybe you would like to send people to your e-commerce website. Maybe you would like to send them to a lead page, which is what we're going to do here. So I've selected sign up button. Then you grab your URL and paste it into the website tab. And we're going to go next. This is how it will appear on a mobile device and we just select whether it's a website or an app and the same with an Android destination. Once you do that your call to action button is now ready to go and you can go and test that. You can also check your results in the right hand bar here on how many calls to action um, you have had on that page. So if we go to the sign up and go to link, we can check it out. You can also edit that button at any time. Also, what I'm going to do now is change the cover image to, to this photo so that when people come to the Facebook page, it automatically gives them a call to action and gives them something to do. This will help build our list of followers who come to our Facebook page and we'll be able to get their details and put them into our email campaign system. And that is the new feature with Facebook and it will be rolling out shortly so keep an eye out for it. Thank you for joining me.